Okay, so in this video we're gonna be exporting. So you would press Command M for this uh, pop-up menu for your export. So you have like different types of options. So on the way down, there's an export, blah blah blah. And then you would press export, and then it would compress the whole film down. And then after it does, it's gonna start rendering. And then yes, you have your whole video that you've been editing. So thank you. Okay, in this video, we're going to be using the history panel. So, first, import a video of some sort. And as you can see, I'm just messing around with this J. Cole film. Um, yeah, so you would go to file. No, 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 not file. You go to window. And you would go all the way, look for history. So, go to history. And then, all of this is what you've done so far out of the times of like moving your film and everything. So, I'm going to press trim. And then it's going to go back to where it was when I was trimming it so thank you okay in this video we're importing a video picture or whatever so we're gonna go to file we're gonna go to import and then you go to wherever your files are filling with videos so I'm gonna click this J. Cole one and it's importing yes <laughs> and so I'm gonna drag this into there and yeah so I'm gonna keep existing settings and yeah so that's simply how you import okay so in this video we're gonna be using the audio technique so you would click the audio and press G and then DB you either changing higher or lower for put making it higher um, and as you can see right here it makes it way louder than the abnormal um, volume and then if I were to press it again and then make this like negative like five it would make it normal it would make it like lower than it was before so thank you and yeah